You know, here at Ring of Honor, I think more so than anywhere else, uh, we have freedom to, to do what we want to do, to be who we want to be, to be creative. There's no machine who's trying to form fit us to what they want us to be. When you come to Ring of Honor, when you see Hangman Page, you get me. This is me. When you see Marty Skrull, you, you, you see exactly what he wants to be. You know what I mean? We're, we're not going to wrestling school and being molded Monday through Friday to present to you on the weekend. This is us, uh, and this is as real as it gets, and you can only find that at Ring of Honor. I think with social media, it's made it so much more available, so much more styles, um, that it's grown to, in my opinion, this is the best time in professional wrestling history because there's so much, there's so many options, so many places to go. Um, you have guys making a living off of this. A uh, couple years in the business like myself, traveling the world, never stepping foot in that big, big ring that everybody claims they want to go to. But you don't have to you now. You can do what you want, where you want, and you can still make a good living. And I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. It's been exciting because as a kid I wanted to be a wrestler and I wanted to change the perception of women's wrestling. I wanted to help create this movement that we're feeling today. So to be a professional wrestler finally and to be a part of this women's revolution which is happening in every company, not just one, um, is very exciting and very personal for me. So I'm so happy for women across the board but especially here at Ring of Honor. I believe that we have the best talent in the world, uh, the hardest working talent in the world and we pour our hearts out. We put everything we have into these matches uh, for this show. This is, gonna, this is our biggest show of the year. Uh, we have to come out here and we have to do something amazing and impress our fans. That way next year we can do even better. We're always looking to grow and that's our mission right now is to grow. Also, after what we saw between Kenny Omega and Cody a few months ago, <laughs> the Bullet Club, I know it's very hard with, uh, with, some, with some fans around the world. Yeah, this is a tough time. Um, and this has been tough for me, I'll be honest. I've been fairly reserved about it all. Um, because when this started, you know, Kenny, Kenny took the U.S. title from me, gave it back to Jay White. And I know that's, that's almost a footnote in what's happened here. But for me, that's what started this. And Cody was right for me. That was my moment. Um, that's a you know, New Japan tradition, time-honored tradition. And that was my moment. And, and he took it from me. So I've always been, I guess, loyal to Cody. Um, but this has been tough. These are my friends. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's tough. All right.